Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I want to show you how to make a panorama in Photoshop. This is a really quick and easy way to create a beautiful image, so let's get started. This is the image that we're going to stitch together and this was taken at South Bank in Brisbane at sunrise. So why would you want to create a panorama in the first place? Well, sometimes just one image isn't enough and shooting a panorama allows you to capture the whole scene. It's perfect for landscape photography and astrophotography as well. But before we get into editing, here are my tips on how to capture a panorama perfectly in camera first, so then when it comes to editing, it's quick and easy. So tip number one, have a sturdy tripod to stay level when changing position. Some tripods come with a bubble level, which is really helpful. Tip number two, attach your camera to the tripod in portrait orientation and then make sure it is level. If your tripod doesn't have a bubble level, then you can use the level in your camera. Tip number three, overlay your images by a third so that Photoshop can blend them together more easily. Tip number four, shoot between f8 and f11 for super sharp images. And tip number five, use manual focus so that nothing changes when you are shooting each image. So now that we know how to shoot one, let's get into editing one. Okay, so I've got my 16 images here in a folder and we're gonna go into Photoshop and click on File, Automate, Photo Merge. And then click on Browse. Select all your files and hit open. I've got auto selected and blend images together ticked down there and hit OK. And that's going to blend all those images into one panorama. It's going to take um, a little while because I've got 16 images um, that might take um, a little bit of time. So I'll see you once they are merged together. And it's done, it's that simple. Photoshop has merged all those photos together to create one image. But of course, the blended image still needs to be edited. Firstly, we need to merge all layers by hitting Command Shift E. Now I'll crop the edges off the image. I'm going to crop it to a 16 by nine because it's a panorama and I'm happy with that composition. We have white on the side, so I'll use the spot healing tool to get rid of that. And I want to get rid of the black rock in the bottom left hand corner, so I'll use the spot healing tool for that also. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit as my computer is running a bit slow. <laughs> spot healing tool to remove the rocks on the right hand bottom corner as well. And just a bit of tidying up. Okay, now I'm going to jump over into Lightroom and do some final editing on the image. Okay, so I'm in Lightroom now, so we're just going to do some simple edits to this photo. So I'm just going to increase the exposure, bring down the highlights, increase the vibrance and the saturation. And I'm going to use an adjustment brush over the city just to lighten it up. I've just turned, I've just pressed the O key on the keyboard so I can see where I'm painting. Just go down and do the reflection as well. And increase the exposure on that masked area and the shadows. Lighten that up. And 
And I'm gonna do a new brush over this building here because it's still quite dark. So increase the shadows. So you can see a bit more detail in that building now. I'm gonna put a filter over the sky at the top and bring down the highlight. And just change the temperature a little bit. And do the same on the bottom. So filter on the bottom, dragging it up just to match the top of the sky there. the shadows overall just bring the general temperature down slightly and a little bit more pink a little bit more vibrance Bring the blacks up a little bit. And that's about it. So that is how you make a panorama in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next week for another video. Bye!